Just recently in Russia, the 2018 Football World Cup has begun. Hundreds of thousands of fans and tourists are spreading across the country in pursuit of the best matches and bright emotions, and some of them will go to the northern capital to see the game on the stadium of St. Petersburg, the second largest in the country, accommodating almost 70,000 fans. But the guests of the championship coming to the stadium will turn around and ask, what is that giant crystal standing nearby? This crystal is under construction, but it can already bear the title of the one of the most technically advanced buildings in Russia and the tallest building in Europe. Welcome to the Lakta Center. Lakta Center is a huge public and business complex with an area of about 400,000 square meters, the core of which is the 78 store 462 meters height skyscraper, the tallest in Europe, gently pushing away the previous record holder, the Moscow Federation Tower. The complex will have a huge number of various spaces and functions offices, sports, medical and educational centers, restaurants, exhibition halls, and even a planetarium. Lacta Center was named after the location. The historical district of St. Petersburg, Lacta, located on the shore of the Gulf of Finland. Being just 10 kilometers from the city center, the building nevertheless is located in a beautiful and quiet place on one hand and, at the same time, does not disturb the harmony of the historical architecture of the Russian Empire's former capital. Naturally, given the city in which this complex is being built, it cannot be an ordinary and boring skyscraper. The design of the building was developed by the best specialists in various branches, and the task of creating a unique futuristic interior design was taken over by the Italian exclusive design studio. Of course, the main feature of the building is its unique crystal shape with twisting edges. Also from the distance, it may also resemble a corn cup, and that's exactly how the locals are calling it. The cross section of the skyscraper has the shape of a pentagon with consoles shifting from the floor to floor. Such an architectural solution makes the skyscraper very unusual and interesting, but it greatly complicates the construction. The building consists of 189,000 large elements, with a total mass of 30,000 tons, the vast majority of which are unique. Each floor, its area and shape is different from the rest. Such uniqueness makes it necessary to build an entire system of supplies of the elements, because every detail, even the most insignificant, has its own place in this giant structure. All this beauty will be covered in a solid veil of glass, with an area of 130,000 square meters, half of which will be go to the tower. By minimizing the area of edges and joints, in the future the building's surface will turn into an almost solid mirror, beautifully reflecting the sky and the clouds. The rigidity of the structure is provided by a classic for the skyscraper's reinforced concrete core, which, like a spine, is stretched along the axis, as well as the groups of columns that hold the facet and, being slightly inclined, are forming a spiral. The location in a cozy area of the city and the base shore provides an excellent conditions for walk and rest to all visitors of the Lacta Center. But of course the construction of a 462-meter skyscraper, accompanied by several huge buildings so close to the sea, is a serious challenge primarily for the builders working on the foundation. The basis of the skyscraper is an incredibly powerful footing, forming a complex box of reinforced concrete, supported by 262 piles plunging into the ground to a depth of up to 82 meters, a whole tower of its own, going down underground. And this is just the skyscraper. The whole complex is based on the field of 2080 piles. The foundation's core is a pentagonal reinforced concrete structure with a depth of 30 meters. In 2015, the concreting of the foundation was included into the Guinness Book of Records as the largest continuous pouring of concrete in the world. Within 49 hours, the builders poured more than 19.5 thousand cubic meters of concrete. The powerful walls of this pentagon should provide protection from shedding, water ingress under the building, as well as the sustainability of the skyscraper's base. The main walking and recreational areas will be located inside the multifunctional complex near the main building. On the upper floors of the skyscraper, above the kilometers of offices, a panoramic view restaurant and viewing platforms will be opened. 
it will be possible to go to the top with the help of 38 modern elevators. However, keep in mind, you will have to change the elevator a couple of times to get to the spire. But for tourists, a special shuttle elevator will be installed, capable of sweeping from the base directly to the top, just like the shuttles of the Burj Khalifa skyscraper in Dubai. Due to a huge number of innovations used in the energy system and green technology, the lactocenter efficiency is planned to be 40% higher than other conventional buildings of this size. In 2015, the project received a LEED and Core and Shell Gold Certificate on the environmental efficiency. The Lacto Center is almost ready and guests of St. Petersburg can already see it. Having become one of the largest construction projects of recent years, the complex will be another famous landmark of the northern capital of Russia, becoming a bridge between the classic architecture of the old city and the future architecture of the 21st century. This is it for today. Leave your comments below and do not forget to subscribe to keep up the old and new interesting videos.